was a very dark and stormy night. No, no. A very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey. Uh, oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? <laughs> oh, uh, just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form, no. I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> Oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Cute. Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean, now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up or down. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments of Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone, gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for. Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch! I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. Wah! Now, now, really? Ah! Oh. Now, where'd he go? There you are. No, Scouty. Oh. 
Uh, here you go, Cherry. Sorry about the, uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. See you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry! I can't wait to read it, but I've been super busy trying to get Huck's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... Uh, Scouty, down! That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! To Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom Town Boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom, uh, misses Scouty too. So, uh, I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could write the story together? If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... Oh, 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 oh. Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight and... I'll be there. Tom, Tom, no. And this time we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're not getting stuck in there again, right, Tom Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening, Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. Thanks, Bosley. Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it. Bring her down. You okay in there? Blueberry? Hi! Uh, any idea how long before I can get out of here? Tell him not to fret. We'll have him out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries! You and I are expert Patty Persimmon fans! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is going to love our story! When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now please sit. No, Scouty, that's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom, sit. Good boy, Scouty. So I had this idea for a brand new detective, Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? Uh, sounds great, but isn't it a little bit like Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. 
It all began on a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! Perfect! But little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night for... Patty, uh... Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished! The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it! It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great! Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great! Hmm, what time is it? Time to mail our story! Well, I don't know about our story, I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye! <laughs> Strawberry? Blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story Huck and I wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait. Where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh. Sugar? Oh, um, no. No thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Hmm? Yeah, I, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo, with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you? And pencils? Oh, well, certainly. You know what we say, a complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Patty Persimmon Mystery Club detective hats? Wow! And the most complete collection of official Patty Persimmon magnifying glasses! Incredible! Oh, wow! Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. I have to, uh. Wow, thanks! Blueberry, that's. that's just fantastic! Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta, uh, 
See ya. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't... Peggy Periwinkle. I think this will finish it. How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this song up on Sing it solo with no one else But that would be lonely, it's true Everything is better with you I could be alone all day By myself, alone some way It doesn't matter what I do Everything is better with you Everything is better with you Everything is better with you Jamming with you is so much fun We play together two for one We're there for each other Just Tom, like Tom, a friend no! should be What's that? What is it, boy? What'd you see? Come on, Tom Tom Evening, Blueberry. Can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you... Well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and... Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh. Well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no! Uh, don't do that! Because it would depend on the venue and the theme and... Do you have any other magazines? Sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule you. We've used up your whole appointment. Style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry, is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. <laughs> I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. 
Oh, Blueberry, it was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But you're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, Stealth Sleuths. I like it. idea and got us to practice. I've had enough of the limelight, so I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. The lashes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> uh, uh, how, how are we gonna get there? 
Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh. Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. What is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> Where will my customers go? Uh, what will happen to us? We'll be what lost! We A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> American Bell! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh. That was very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. 
It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way. Huh. Oh, Jerry! You made it a Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh Barrican Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured. If you're going to very big city, why not go in style? Yeah! We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... We're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need. Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Leave this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! <sighs> Well, then, uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... who... Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring my 
more tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinky slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yay! Read it again! Read it again! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Come along now, come along. Oh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrican Bloom? All right? <laughs> How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. Oh, a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans at my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the guns! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing. What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinky and Slinker was almost seen. <laughs> Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I know the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. 
to protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, Think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. Strawberry shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a favor 
wanted to ask. Well, what can I do for you? You know, I'm always happy to help the Berrykins with anything at all, large or small. Oh, you girls have to try this new berry pudding I made. Mmm. Sounds delicious. Where's Raspberry? Hmm. I haven't seen her all day. There she is. Hi, Raspberry. Ready to get quilting? Oh, no more sewing. Please. I just came by to say I can't come to quilting club today. But quilting club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty berrykins were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Oh. oh, oh. Only six dozen to go. Oh, no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so... so... so little! Wow! Hey! You know, if the berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Uh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Hey, I trust them with that. Why? <laughs> well, sure. Here you go.
a little chilly. Brr, we should go inside. <gasps> Sorry, Raspberry. Here's your perfume that made us bigger. Thanks! Uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> Funny story. You must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. <laughs> I'm just about done here, Berry Can Bloom. Let's go! I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. on a hat. But it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it! We did it! Bacon Bloom and I found a way to shrink the Berrykins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry!
need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad! Coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it! Hmm. Ugh. Where's my waffle? Two cups of tea on table five. Where's the waffle for that table? Oh, how do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither have I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that way. I sure wish we could do it the way the Barrykins do it. They make it look so easy, but it's not. Oh, my! Oh, no! 
realized you were just fine the way you were. I'm sorry I tried to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. it is that everyone in Berry Bitty City is different from one another. Me too. Same here. Yep. So thanks to you and your potion, we actually found out what a big contribution the Berrykins make. No matter how small they are. And how much better they could run the Berry Works than we could. <laughs> <laughs> everyone has their own special contribution to make. No matter how big or small. The Berrykins have theirs. <laughs> and we have ours. I know you've had a busy day, but we still have to start jam tomorrow. Oh, and I did promise you Berrykin-sized waiters. Hmm, maybe I can get Berrykin Balloon to make me small again so I can... How about if we just help you make more waiters? 